Hello everyone, it is Suki and today I wanted to talk about something that has been bothering me for a couple of weeks now and uh, it's actually a comment and it's not actually a comment directed at me which is uh, something you would think would be the case, it's actually this comment. Can the developers of this game be any more lazy? And this is in response to uh, the video I put out some time ago going over some of the announcements that came out of the fan festival in Paris. So uh, yeah, this this wasn't that long ago, uh, two weeks ago. So I, I read this comment two weeks ago and it's been brewing in my mind for that long and I just, I had to say something about it. Can the developers of this game be any more lazy? Yeah, they could, they could, they could be Bethesda. But in all seriousness, um, I'm not really sure where this comment is being founded, uh, really. Now, I think there's a very big distinction to make between calling the developers of a game lazy and not being happy with what the developers choose to give you within their product. Um, you know, perhaps this person just thinks that it's lazy that the developers are maybe asking developers of, of near to come in and do a crossover events with with them so they can make an alliance right around that maybe maybe that's what they're referencing uh, referencing I'm not even sure what they're referencing as as lazy but if there's anything I can really say with utmost confidence it is that the Final Fantasy 14 development team is not lazy by any stretch do they make mistakes of course of course they do I've been with the game for how long has it been over five years now right Yes, almost five and a half years, probably a little, a little longer than five and a half years. Almost five, five years and like nine months. I, I've been playing since like closed beta for a Rum Reborn. I've been around to see just about every single change they made, and they've made some pretty bad changes before. You like, you guys remember Diadem? No, you don't. Do you remember Diadem 2.0? No, you don't remember that either. How about that one time that they made Alliance gear? read only for a few weeks yeah they make mistakes but you know what guess what that thing about the alliance gear they change that based on community feedback and that's really something that just I don't know I get a lot of comments I've been on YouTube for a while and I get a lot of comments directed at me which are negative and usually they're so outlandish that they're just absolutely downright hilarious see this comment right here I get so many comments about my UI and uh, I just I find it hilarious because uh, I'm not gonna change my UI anytime soon and uh, apparently it triggers so many people but it, that's hilarious but I don't know I just I can't I can't really just stand by in good conscience and, and, and acknowledge that people think that the developers of this game are lazy because in my opinion they're not I mean Take Naoki Yoshida. He is the producer and the director of Final Fantasy XIV. Ever since he signed on to do A Rum Reborn, he's been both. He's been the director and the producer, and he's he's talked about you know retiring one of his positions so that he's only one of those, and you know giving the other title to somebody else to uh, take his workload off. But no, he has kept both titles for this long, almost six years. He's had this title, probably longer, because. I mean, he had to start working on the game before I could start playing it, and that was, again, like five months or five years and nine months ago, so about six years at least, he's had both of these titles, and he's worked pretty hard. Like, any time you see this man, he looks dead-ass tired, and despite that, he has so much fun with it, right? Like, you go and look at the Kingdom. If you've never watched Naoki Yoshida, um talk about or uh, or give a keynote address he is hilarious he is he has so much fun he understands his player base he understands what they want and he has a lot of fun and excitement giving out that information to people so first off let's start off with the job's role what is it here 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 <laughs> Nice joke. <laughs> it is it is actually really fun to watch these. You see, you go and watch, you know, other people develop. 
delivered you know information about their games and they're not nearly as natural as this right like i remember not too long ago i watched the the reveal for call of duty black ops 4 that's one of the biggest games in the industry still is call of duty every year they're they are either the top game or within like the top three games sold that year even even the games that people generally don't like as much they're still top sellers they make a ton of money but even those people don't give as good of a as good of a like address as as Naoki in my opinion it's just he feels natural and maybe that's just because he's Japanese and I'm just I'm just letting out my inner weeb but he has so much fun with it and and another thing that I, I, I want to put out there is that not many game developers sit down every couple of months and just talk about their game who they talk about the changes that they're going to make to the game things they're going to add to the game changes that they've already made in the past and they explain why they made those changes or they answer you know questions from the community give give response to some of the community 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 feedback and and how they're going to take that feedback and and alter the game if at all with that feedback i mean that's that's something that they do every couple months how many live letters have we had since the game's launched a lot i can't i don't even know what number we're on but we just had one and he does this like every couple months they they get on they get on camera they talk about these things how many other games do that look at black ops 4 that game is broken like i had a lot of fun with that game when it came out but that game was unbelievably broken and it still is broken in some areas to this day like it's been out for like for like over four months at this point and it's still really broken and there's there's very sparse amounts of information that ever come out of, of, of from the developers and it's just it's frustrating but with Final Fantasy 14 no they communicate well you go onto their forums they have people they have community representatives who answer questions on their forums if it's something that requires them to answer it's it's actually really refreshing to just have a game and the developers and, and just people around the game who care about the game and genuinely seem to care about their community I don't know I just had to get on I don't know this, is, this has been on my chest for the last couple of weeks and I just wanted to get on here and talk about it because in my opinion no I don't I don't think the the developers of of the game are very lazy at all I think it's fairly it's fairly understandable that maybe they're ads, adding something to the game or not adding something to the game and that's frustrating to you and it's not exactly what you want that's fine you can say that but that doesn't necessarily make the developers lazy it just means that they didn't add in what you want which is bound to happen you know i've been wanting dancer for a long time have we gotten dancer yet no will we who knows it's up in the air right now but even if we don't get it maybe we'll get it next time who knows but you know i don't think i can say oh yeah they're lazy just because i didn't get what i want you know i can't i can't look at stormblood and be like oh man i didn't get i didn't get my dancer instead we got red mage and samurai they must be lazy or you know, heavens where they they had they had three new jobs plus ninja back in like four point or not four point two point three I think, so that was like almost four jobs for for heavens where but they only gave us two for stormblood, they must be lazy. And it's like no, I don't think so. I don't really think so. Just because you don't get what you want doesn't necessarily make the developers lazy in my opinion. I think it's just you didn't get what you want. It happens sometimes, especially with with an online game where where they're trying to meet the needs of of many many different players. Some people will be happy with what they get, other people won't. But I don't think that's necessarily grounds to say that the developers are lazy. I have a massive respect for everyone who works on this game. The development team for Final Fantasy XIV isn't very large. Uh, if you if if you actually stop to to look at it, it's not they're not very large when it comes to development teams. Uh, I mean, I don't know very much about game design myself, but from what I can tell, their team isn't very large considering how big of a game Final Fantasy XIV is. Like, Final Fantasy XIV is one of the biggest MMOs on the market, and that's not something that should be said lightly, because a lot of MMOs come out and they just, they have their lo little followings, but at Final Fantasy XIV, they've stuck up there for the last five years. They've 
they've made a name for themselves and they are one of the most successful MMOs currently today. And the fact that their development team is still uh, as as small as it is, is is honestly kind of astonishing just how much work they managed to get done. Like, yes, there are some features that have taken some time to get, get you know, because of how, how slowly some things seem to come out. Like, remember back at, at launch, we didn't even have the party finder. We had to sit sit and Revenant's toll shouting to get our Titan Titan parties together. You guys remember that? Because I remember that. Or sitting outside of Holotali to get our freaking um, Hydra runs. Stuff like this happens. You know, sometimes we don't get what we want. I don't think they're lazy. That's just, that's just the bottom line. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, more ranty than usual. I mean, I like to ramble on a lot, but this was kind of more of a rant response to that. Uh, originally, I was actually going to put this into uh, a video where I replied to a lot of comments, but um, I realized that um, this this one question alone um, could uh, could inspire an entire rant, so I decided to keep it off on its own. And um, look, no hard feelings to this person, all right? You know, they must be frustrated that they're not getting what they want. And you know what? There are other games out there for him to play or her to play. I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm no hard feelings to this guy, but I just respectfully have to say, um, just because things don't work out the way you want, I don't think that's any grounds to call them lazy. I, I really don't. So, yeah, that's all I had to really say on the topic. Thank you for listening, I guess. There wasn't really much to watch. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys in another video where I respond to more comments in a much more lighthearted tone, I, I assure you, than this one. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you then. Sayonara. Bye-bye. You hot need some more water? Drink, drink. I want a beer. <laughs> Anybody got a beer?